Ladies and gentlemen, welcome at the press conference of the National Electoral Commission devoted to the second round of elections for Reeves, mayors or presidents of cities. The chairperson will now take the floor. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Let me read out to you the announcement of the National Electoral Commission dated 4th of November. 2018 on the number of uh, people covered in the voters uh, list and the number of uh, voters to whom ballot papers were issued until 12, until noon uh, today in the second round of elections for Reeves mayors and presidents of uh, cities on the 4th of uh, November 2018. The National Electoral Commission, based on data received from 7,682 district commissions out of the total number of 7,687 commissions informs uh, you that in the second round of uh, elections, according uh, to data as of uh, noon on the 4th of November 2018, the number of uh, people eligible to vote, i.e. the number of people included in voters' lists uh, in constituencies from which data was received was 9,486,846 people. Ballot papers were issued to 1,481,178 people eligible to vote, which is 15.61% uh, in comparison with the number of uh, people eligible to vote in these elections. Let me now read out to you aggregate data per province. Dolnośląskie, Lower Silesian province, ballot papers 13.12%, uh, uh, Kujawin Pomeranian 14.98%, uh, Lubelskie 18.12%, uh, Lubuskie 12.69%, Łódzkie 15.37%, uh, Małopolskie Lesser Poland 17.97%, uh, Mazowian Mazowieckie 16.45%, uh, Pola 14.29%, uh, Subcarpathian Podkarpackie 18.51%, Podlaskie 18.34%, Pomeranian 14.28%, uh, Silesian 13.82%, Świętokrzyskie 16.47%, Warmia and Mazury, Warmińsko Mazurskie 15.92%, Greater Poland, Wielkopolskie 13.96%, and Western Pomeranian 13.13%. As regards of some selected uh, towns and cities, let me present to you the following turnout data. Gdansk, until noon, 14.02. Kielce, 16.32%. Uh, Krakow, 16.51%. Uh, Olsztyn, 15.89%. And Stettin, 12.17%. In comparison with the total number of uh, people eligible to vote, the highest turnout was registered in Novie Piekuty municipality in Podlaskie province, 34.03% uh, of voters. That's it when it comes uh, to the announcement of the National Electoral Commission as for the turnout uh, as of noon today. Thank you very much, uh, sir. Now, Judge Bush would like to take the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, as uh, you can note, based on the information received by the National Electoral Commission, all polling stations in 649 municipalities and uh, towns where the second round of elections is taking place were opened on time. We have no information about uh, any disruptions in this respect as of now. Furthermore, as of 11.30 a.m., based on information received from the police headquarters, there have been in total 76 incidents uh, that may be related uh, to the elections which are being carried out today. The highest number was related uh, to canvassing. Furthermore, various behaviors uh, related to destruction of uh, election related posters.
Today we have the election day and altogether up until now over 13,000 uh, police officers have been engaged uh, in related activities. It may, find, it may be interesting for you to note that uh, 104 police dogs uh, are on duty today. The incidents uh, that uh, have been uh, reported by the police uh, do not up until now seem to have any greater impact on the election day. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Are there any questions from the journalists? Rafał Poniatowski, TVN24. What about uh, the internet? Uh, servers may be located abroad, some information may be posted from abroad. Uh, with the current legal framework, uh, can the police, uh, because this is uh, the body responsible for it, uh, do anything? Uh, they are actually hopeless, helpless in such a situation. Well, canvassing uh, should not uh, take place, uh, and this applies uh, to the broadly understood public uh, uh, domain, uh, press, uh, but also the internet, and obviously it's much easier to determine the perpetrator if uh, there's uh, any canvassing happening on the election day, and uh, it can be traced back to a journalist, be that a TV, a radio, or a press journalist. It's much more difficult to determine the person who is uh, carrying out canvassing via online media, by creating uh, some accounts abroad, for instance. In fact, the National Electoral Commission is not able to determine that, A, this is not our mandate, this lies uh, within the field of responsibility of the law enforcement bodies, but B, we are aware of the fact that uh, this medium makes it more difficult uh, to determine the perpetrator. That's why uh, already before we were suggesting that maybe the legislator should uh, reconsider or rethink election silence, or maybe it should only be limited to the election day. These are, however, only our deliberations, our proposals that we made to all legislative and legislative bodies, and that's what we do after every election day. This was one of our proposals in the past. Perhaps it will be our proposal today, and it's hard to say what the results will be. Factor TV and uh, Magda Per, could you comment on uh, the fact that the National Electoral Commission uh, suggested that we appoint a core of uh, election observers, you mean commissioners or members of the commission? Well, the core of commissioners, uh, as you called it, has already been established uh, based on the candidates presented by the Ministry of the Interior and Administration. The commissioners have been appointed for five years, and there's no reason to change anything uh, except for individual cases uh, where that is deemed to be necessary. Before, I have already presented my opinion on whether this is the best uh, way, whether we should have lawyers and not judges perform this function, but this is a bygone. The legislator has already decided about it, and the commissioners have been performing their function correctly. Surely there were situations in which the National Electoral Commission had to revoke or change their decisions, but that was rather a result of uh, lack of their experience, which was fully understandable for me. Up until now, we uh, have not... Uh, presented any suggestions to the legislator in this respect, and I don't think that the legislator will be willing to return to the previous state of affairs, even though, in my personal opinion, the constellation in which we had judges perform that function was uh, better, but the legislator decided to change it, and we have no impact on it. Uh, it cannot be deemed to, uh, to, to violate the Constitution. Thank you very much. Next question, please. One further remark. Uh, among commissioners, over 50% are judges. Uh, these are, however, not uh, judges that used to be commissioners in the past. There's just a handful of such judges. Anka of Czarek, uh, Posted News TV. Let me ask you about members of the commission, because I know that there were some problems with finding people to have a full panel. Do you have any suggestions as for the future, how to solve the problem? Well, the problem is exactly the same like during the first round of elections. As I said before, this resulted from the simple fact uh, that uh, the commissioner had to 
appoint uh, members uh, to the panel in an emergency mode because in many situations the committees did not present their candidates. In 60% of uh, commissions we had uh, full panels, i.e. nine people. However, there were cases in which uh, the panels were just uh, five people and we did have uh, problems whenever a person resigned. We had to reappoint uh, more people to the commission. There were some ups and downs, there were some concerns before today actually that we might not have uh, the minimum uh, number of people in the panel in big cities, but uh, luckily it turned out that there were no problems in this respect. Uh, and today at 7 a.m. all polling stations were opened and all commissions were there. For the future, well, we will be thinking about it. Most likely the commissioner should have the right to appoint full panel. This would not have happened if the commissioner had such uh, a mandate. Uh, when the committees are not active enough, they do not present uh, candidates as they should, because this is their duty, the commissioner should have the possibility to appoint full panel. Right now, this pertains only to the minimum composition of a panel. If uh, we had the, the mandate, we wouldn't have so many problems because resignations will always happen. Up until now, however, the commissioner would intervene only if we had fewer than five people on the panel, i.e. half of the commission would have to resign. And right now, even if one person resigns, then we are bef below 5%, five people, and that's too little. Thank you very much. Uh, are there any further questions? If there aren't, let me thank you for your attention, and we would like to invite you to the next press conference at 6 p.m. We will provide you with data about turnout as of 5 p.m. Thank you very much for your attention.